So let's say let's say we put Lauren Hill's album aside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. If we put Lauren Hill's album aside as not a rap album, then that means the top ten rap albums are the ones I mentioned: uh, Public Enemy, Takes a Ma- uh, Nation of Millions, Kanye West. That would be number one. Kanye West would be number two at uh, My Beautiful Dark Twi- Twist of Fantasy. Number two rap album of all time. What was number one again? Takes Public a Enemy. Of it uh, takes a nation of millions. Number three, right behind Kanye, is Kendrick Lamar to Pimp a Butterfly. Mm. Number four, Biggie, Ready to Die. Okay. Then number five is Wu Tang into the Wu Tang. That's I, the top five. I'm not. I'm okay with that top five. All right. Following that, uh, Dr. Dre, The Chronic. Okay. Number six, A Tribe Called Quest, Low in Theory. Number seven. Mm-hmm. Nas all the way down at number eight. Mm-hmm. Illmatic. With Illmatic. Uh, number nine, Outcast of Quemini. Okay. And then uh, rounding it out, Jay Z with the blueprint at number ten. So I'm, a, I'm, you're gonna get mad at me, or you might agree. I don't know. I don't think that "To Pimp a Butterfly" is above any of the albums that's below it. Culturally speaking, I feel like all those albums hit better and mattered more, in my opinion. Yeah, I, Jarv, I, I understand. I think, I mean, you know, it, it came out so recently. Like it dropped what six years nah, ago? But, yeah, but six years is enough Five. to. To, to know uh, of it 2015 I think. To know the feel Five years ago yeah, Listen yeah. We're, we're we're gonna see this To Pimp a Butterfly Well no one's talking about it right now What are you talking about I, I, like, I We're just, here uh, right no, now no, no, no. I, I understand I, People I, talk I'm, about it all No time. People have of to a that certain damn. ilk But hip hop ain't talking about that Listen You rather, I, I, you rather I, listen to that or damn to pimple uh, butterfly. To pimple butterf- like butterfly. it's not, yeah. it's not revered the, the the way a chronic is or a blueprint or oh, a those, tribe. Those have had thirty six chambers. Twenty twenty five. But no, nah, but we knew what thirty six chambers was a few years after it dropped, bro. We can't, we can't move the goalposts now because y'all like Kendrick. We gotta be honest here, bro. I, I, but, but, Jarv, but, but, but I disagree. The, 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 I, the I landscape think it's was up so there. much smaller. Well, back who do then? you talk to that talks about that album? I mean, no bullshit, evil. Like keep it one hundred. Listen, the album came out before Trump was in office, before a lot of the, the activism qualifiers. that we're saying, but. No, I mean, it was a precursor to a lot of that. Right. You know, I mean, like, people will throw out hyperbole and they'll call certain artists prophets, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, but if you listen to that album in 2020, it's it's kind of chilling All right. how he, like, predicted a lot but of the we stuff not we're saying, seeing. We're talking about culturally uh-huh. where that album is positioned. It's not above any of those albums it's above right now. It's not. We're, we're kind of ignoring another pretty big elephant in this room. Illmatic is number eight? That's no, crazy. Kanye West. My beautiful dark twist of fantasy number two. Two seems a bit high of all time. Like if it was top five, like if it was five, I'd be like, okay, two. So you said number that was the apex of hip hop. That's what you said. Now, I'm not saying whether I agree or disagree. Oh, okay. I'm just throwing it out there. I two think, seems high. Two think, does two seem high? No, that one was it, that rap ain't been the same since he broke. He broke the system. Listen, I think it's <laughs> definitely top ten. Two though. It's two. for it's for what it did for the game. Yeah, it, it, it changed the game. It, it literally changed the game and it changed Kanye. Kanye been chasing that album in one way or the other since yep. then. He can't find it. Call Amber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's concerned with the with the lack of Eric B and Rakim in the top ten. No, no, because that's not what made them great. What made them great was Rakim's contribution to the art of rapping. But the albums weren't, they weren't top 10. Like, a couple of them might have been, like, top 20, gonna, top you're 30. You're going to piss off a lot of Eric people hey, out come there, me. man. Hey, guys, come at me. Paid in full drink? No, listen, I, you guys know I love Rakim. Rakim to yeah. me is the GOAT, but it's not, he's the GOAT because of what he did for rapping, you know? Not because of that he made, you know, these incredible albums. Not any albums on the level of the 10 that we're discussing now. Well, um, Paid in full was 11. It just barely missed the top. Yeah, ten, according sounds to right. Yeah. Because the whites couldn't get with it at that time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's all it was. Because they were loved it, it out now. It was too early Too <laughs> early. It was. It was. It was too close to the essence. Essence. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Noah only built for Cuban links. We need one Wu Tang album in there, so I'm okay that they got Enter the Wu Tang. I mean, would you put Cuban links above Thirty Six Chambers? I'm not. I mean, personally, no. I probably would, but, but I can't be mad at. And, uh, I can't be mad Listen, at I, I, I went yeah. through the whole 500 albums. I extracted all of the rap yeah, Where's albums. Cuban Links at? Cuban Links is at 34. What that's the fuck? Out of 500, that's not out bad. Of, all time? Wait, no, 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 no. 34, 34, no, 34 out of the rap albums. How many rap albums did they list? <laughs> not, 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 Whoa. How many rap uh, total? And this is out of 500 out of, albums. Right under, it was 58. Out of all the rap albums that they listed on this list, if you include... Lauren Hill, there's only two females. If you do not include Lauren Hill, Missy is the only one. But what other one would you put? Like Little Kim, Foxy? 
Hawk Hogan was like, fire. When Lil' Kim got five mics, we we all knew that was BS. <laughs> that, that was bullshit. That's that was a fact. Bull- Although, th- uh, that was a fire album. album I, think, I think Missy is up there because of the fact that her album was genre shifting. Like, we heard nothing like that to that point. That's a fact. Yeah, and it was fire. You know what yeah. I mean? Not for nothing. If, if, you, if you really want me to be, if you're just talking rap albums, like, Lauren album don't need to be there. Like, Missy should be the highest female on the list. Yeah, I always see Missy as like some type of alternative hip hop though. Like, nah, nah, but early Missy was rapping. Yeah, yeah. Nah, like, she, like, yeah, like, she, as she got more famous, when, she started yeah. making more pop music. Yeah. What do you think about like Hot Boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was rapping on that shit. Nas on the remix. Yeah. Son, Nas yeah. blazed that for um, Eve too. Thank you. Yo, Missy, late '90s, early 2000s run doesn't get talked about enough. With, with Timberland's production, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Agreed. She yeah. B Club. Yeah, Missy Missy deserves her flowers. Man. Where does Pac's first album rank, bro? That's because that's bro. What, so yo, that's no, another be thing. Me but, against the world, right? Oh no, it, it, it wasn't me. All eyes on me. Where is Tupac on this list? Yeah, hold on. Let me finish out the top twenty. Hold on, hold on. Finish out the top twenty. Tune in. We lit. Finish out the top twenty. Tune in. We lit. Go ahead. After Drake is De La Soul, Beefy High and Rising. Then Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid, Mad City, and then Kanye West. Kanye West late registration. Kanye Wait, has they got three, three in the top, top 20. twenty. Kanye got three in the top twenty. Three Drake in the top twenty. No wow. And three, and Kendrick, that's Kendrick, that's Kendrick two or three. Kendrick Yo, two or three. Kendrick has two. Two. Yo. Wow. And Kendrick's fam. only like thirty-one. Nah, let, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. He got a new fan. <laughs> <laughs> Which? We were slandering them that nah, last nah, episode. Nah, we were that oh, the one before Where, that. Where's all eyes on me? Um, like 100? I'm, I'm trying to find it right now. Hold on. Wow. Rolling Stone is my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sipping on the Hennessy. And Tupac slander. Uh, Sipping on the Kasumi. <laughs> Kasumi. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Number 55 out of 58 rap albums. Wow. <laughs> That's right. That's crazy. No, no, no. Sin, no, sin. no, no. Did no, Me Against no. the World make the album? Yo, make wow, the list? bro, no. that's that crazy. Is not, that that's one. not cool. <laughs> Rolling Stone is bugging the fuck out, man. 50 Cent, um, Get Rich or Die Trying, 41. Is See, that wait, the wait, most wait, overrated hip hop album up. ever? Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style, 44. That's, they got that's three Beastie Boy low. albums ahead of Snoop? Snoop? That's Whoa. insanely low. Uh, Doggy style should be way higher than Rolling Stone. What was y'all smoking? Hey, you know what? Listen, let's give Rolling Crazy. Stone some credit. We have some gripes, but all in all, all things considered, it's not an egregious list. Now this is right? a li- maybe this the top ten is not egregious. Boy this is a low key trolley list. <laughs> Three. Come on, bro. That's hey, not Sin, weird. correct me if I'm wrong, and this might not be relevant to this podcast, but number one on the entire list of 500 albums was uh, Marvin Gaye, What's Mar- Going On. Marvin right? Gaye, What's Going On, and that is spot on. That's a real deal. Yeah. 